Um, our class also needs getters. It doesn't really need setters because we're going to be instantiating everything with this Vim constructor over here. And we're not really going to give our user the ability to change what's uh, what the data is or what this the name is maybe we will later on but for now let's keep things simple and just keep things the same so that once the user types in the name of their file and the data that they want their file to have they won't be able to change it so all we're gonna do is write getters so public string get name return name and public byte the return type get data and just return the data and really this is we're done with our vim class this is everything this is everything that we need so now let's move on to our book class. Remember we declared this list of Vim and now we're going to need to manipulate that. So in our default constructor we're just going to add We're just going to instantiate our list of Vim into a new array list of Vims. So new array list Vim. And import the array list. Make sure again, make sure it's from java.util. And we're basically doing the same thing as we did for the book and the library class. So if you go on over to the library class, what we did was, in our constructor, all we did was instantiate our list of books into a new array list of books. And we're just doing that, the same thing for our book class. We're also going to do the same, the same thing in our non-default constructor. So I want you guys to copy and paste this into our default constructor. Now that we have that instantiated in our constructors, we're going to need two new methods sorry three new methods we're going to need to have a method for adding a vim object in our in our list of vim so we're gonna go ahead and do that add vim the parameter is vim I'm just gonna call this V And all we're going to do is add this Vim object in our Vim, in our list of Vims, in our list of Vims. So, again, the way we do that is just this. We call this Vims. We also need to get the title of this book and. I'll show you guys later why uh, we need to be able to get the title of this this book. But for now, just add this method in here. The return type is a string. We're going to call it get title. No parameter, and it just returns the title. Now let's create the last method that we need for this class public the return type is gonna be this sorry vim and it's gonna be get vim by name
Now what this method is going to do is it's going to take in a name of a Vim object. So if we go on over to our Vim class, we said that a Vim has a name. And it's basically a it's going to be a file name. For example, it's going to be if you if for example a a music file like uh I don't know uh music.mp3 that's going to be the name that we're going to store in this string so when we're programming we're going to we're going to need to be able to get a vim object just by its name so let's go ahead and do that let's create a vim object we're going to call it V and just set that equal to null. Now, again, because I'm OCD, I want to get rid of this error. And it says that uh, the method must return a result of type M. Yeah, shut up. I'm not even done yet. Sometimes Eclipse can be so stupid. But let's tell Eclipse that, yeah, just to get rid of this error, we're going to return, just return null. Don't return this. Don't return this uh, v object because we're going to be using this v object inside our while loop. And I found some bugs when I'm returning v, so just return null. So that by the time we get to this line of code over here, that means that we haven't found a vim object by that has this name. And you're going to see what I mean. We're going to create an iterator, and this iterator is going to be an iterator for a list of Vim objects. So just go ahead and put that there. We're going to call this iterator i. Extract the iterator for our from our Vim's list. Go ahead and say iterator. import the iterator make sure it's from java.util again it's going to be the same thing that we did for uh, our iterator in our library class and that is while i has next we're going to do some stuff and what we're going to do is we're going to set this v object that we created to i dot next and as you can see this next this next method returns a vim object and now if if our vim object dot get name is equal to name we're just going to return the vim object which is v now you guys might think that this is okay to do but it is not